Okay, YouTube. I'm sharpening my Case Marilla knife that has S35 VN steel. And I'm using the Work Sharp Precision Adjust Knife Sharpener. Basically, this knife sharpener has these diamond stones. And um, this kit comes with diamond stones that go from 220, 320, 400, and then you got 600 and 800, and this leather strap. But um, anyhow, I've been at it for about, I'm basically reprofiling this blade because I want to get it razor sharp. And it's got, I mean, when you buy it, it comes with a good sharp blade, but, you know, I want to get it like really sharp and reprofile -pro it at 20 degrees and that's the great part about this system is you can reprofile the blade and you've got it goes down to 15 degrees I did that on one knife and I started scraping the corner here so realistically I think you're looking at 17 and for a pocket knife like this a uh, 20 degree blade angle probably is going to be really good uh, for for my personal use anyway okay um, now s35 vn steel that's going to take you a while so anybody that does any knife sharpening that's that that it's going to take a while to grind off the um the uh, steel grind down that steel to um get that reprofiled so anyway um a lot you know a few hours to do this um, there's other ways to do it. I mean, you can use a uh, belt belt sander, uh, one by thirty belt sander. I tried that, uh, and one of the problems with that is um, it's the uh, the blade angle, um, the sharpening angle, and that's that's difficult to get consistent. And once you put some pressure on on a uh, sander uh, belt, it actually, you know, let's say the belt is. You know coming here and you're you're taking your knife and you're putting it up against it once you start pushing up against it that is actually going to push against the the edge of the uh the blade and um and so you really don't want to put too much pressure using that method but um you know for for my really good steel knives i really want to do it using this system. For other knives, I'll probably just use my uh, 1 by 30 uh, sanding belts. All right, thank you. So now I'm uh, reprofiling, and I bought this little little jig that um, keeps this nice and stable. Now normally I'm gonna put my hand up against it to, to um, secure it. So, but basically all you do is you go up and down, and right now I'm at 220 because I'm reprofiling it. You just keep doing that for a while until you've shaved it down nicely. Um, and then you flip this over. This will actually turn over. Well, if you can see that these, these rotate and then you can um, you can uh, move, you know, switch to the different um, sanding uh, diamond grit uh, stones here. And then also this thing comes off easily and then you put this back on and go back to, to sharpening. I think this is a fabulous system. Oh, the other thing too is once I've done this side, I'm going to actually pull this out there's a magnet in there and then flip it over and get to work on the other side okay i'm I'll done sharpening that. on this side and that is the new profile right there and i'm gonna flip it over and start on the other side and this one actually profile this one before and then I used a different sharpener and then kind of screwed it up because it was uh, razor sharp last time when I did it when I did this so it's gonna take me a while again so it took me about two hours on the last side now 
I'm gonna start reprofiling again using 220, and um, I'm gonna do this while watching TV. While I'm reprofiling it on this side now. I took a sharpie and I ran the sharpie across the edge so that when I start grinding it down, I can tell, you know, where it's removing and kind of how long it's gonna take to um. To do it. I already kind of know, but I want to see exactly where it's grinding, so the Sharpie helps with that. And then also to dust off and kind of use a damp rag and dust off the, uh, the blade. Thank you. 